After finishing our living room, board game room, and our bedroom, I am moving back into the kitchen to create a cozy coffee corner. Welcome back to our kitchen. The one room where I have no plan, no idea where I'm going with anything. So I'm just doing small little projects to make it look a little bit nicer. Today's project is another one of those. Although I am very excited about this one. I want to build a coffee bar right there. Uh, there is a pantry now, so I'm going to have to get rid of that. Obviously I need to empty it out and then I'm going to put everything into the room next to the uh, kitchen because that one day is going to be a beautiful walk-in pantry. It is not now though, it's kind of a mess, but that is the one thing I do have planned. Anyway, I'm going to move everything into that room for now and then we can get started on that corner. There's a lot of colors, I don't know where to go. For those of you who have been following my channel for a while, you know that I am slowly updating and redesigning our Dutch farmhouse in no particular order. <laughs> so I am moving from room to room, and although I'd love to build a built-in coffee bar in this corner, I am pretty sure I will one day move back into the kitchen with a proper plan, and I will be rethinking the entire design, and I will have to change this corner again. So I'm actually going to go for something a little bit more simple. I have gotten a beautiful old secondhand cabinet that I can fit inside this little alcove, and I'll just try and make it a nice moment in the corner of our kitchen that stands out. I very optimistically thought I would just be able to move it away, but apparently they screwed it into the wall. So I need to go get tools. I'm just gonna put it to the side and wait for S to come home so that we can carry it away. It does not fit through the door. So as you may know, I have a dark gray in the board game room, which is adjacent to the living room. And there is a built-in bookcase that is a dark gray as well. So I kind of wanted to bring that into the kitchen too. Um, and I thought this was a good spot for it. So I'm actually going to paint that back wall dark gray. So I'm gonna change into something that I can spill paint on because I cannot paint like a normal person. And then I will get my paint and give it some color. So this is 27. It doesn't matter what I've been through. I should go out too, but I still act like I'm 11. I'm not emotionally sound since I left you. And no, I don't like to be the bad guy. I won't be surprised. That was a very, very Naomi thing to do. But I had you where I wanted you. Never had to ask. I'd set the world on fire just to get it back. I don't know how it feels to be someone you love. And it gets me down, down, down. Yeah, I had you where I wanted you. Never had to ask. I'd set the world on fire just to get it back. Don't know how it feels to be someone you love. So I found a cabinet online on Marketplace for 40 euros that I think will work really well for our coffee bar. So I just picked it up. It's in the back of my car. I am on my way home now. And let's see if it actually works because it is a little smaller than the area where it's going to go into. So it might, it, it could go both ways. It could look really good or it could look really dumb. But I do actually know that I have multiple places in the house where I can put this thing. So it will be a good buy. I want the cabinet to go right there. Now it is a little small. It could have been wider and maybe at some point I will find a cabinet that has the right width, but for now this is gonna work. However, I wanna do something above it as well. So I thought I would do shelves or a shelf. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do one or two shelves. I think two might just be too busy. But one of the other things that I wanted to do is something that I see a lot on the internet and I really love the look of that. It's a gallery rail along the front of the shelf. So I went out looking for them. Can't find them anywhere, not in my country anyway. So if I would get them from somewhere else because obviously I would be able to find them online, 
but they are incredibly expensive and then I'd have to pay for shipping. So I thought, you know, I'm going to find a way to make them myself. <laughs> so I thought I would just take off the tape. Look what happens. It is taking off all of the paint. So this was a complete waste of time and tape because now I still have to paint over it with um, a brush and I don't dare to put tape on anything anymore. So I will try and draw a straight line by hand. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. <gasps> the ceiling too? Oh my God. Oh, okay. So to create the gallery rail on the shelf, I got a wooden rod, which is six millimeters in diameter. So it's quite thin. And I got a set of chess pieces because I think that the spindles kind of look like chess pieces. Now, ideally, I would like to use the bishop. I think it looks the most like a spindle, but that would make the gallery rail way too high. So I'm actually gonna go for one of these, just the pawn. They're a little lower, they're a little less elegant, but I think it'll work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a hole into the side that is big enough for this rod to fit inside. And I'm gonna do that very, very carefully. I'm gonna start with a very small drill and work my way up to the six millimeter drill. Um, and then I'm going to spray paint everything brass and then we're going to pretend that we have a very fancy gallery rail. Let's see how many I break before we get there. So I want to drill as straight as I can. I'm going to get another drill that is a little bit bigger, but it's not a wood drill. Um, I found that the wood drill is a little bit too abrasive. I'm actually using a drill that is meant for a brick. So I just have to make that hole bigger. That's all. I want to close my eyes and go back. Play it in my mind. A movie of us two, yeah. We were happy at the time. Can't remember what it felt like. We used to be so strong. That picture perfect sky now. Just gonna fill up these damaged edges a little bit. For a.m. and you haven't said a word to me. Silent treatment is this what it feels like when your heart is sick and when it bleeds. If it's over, just say it. I actually made two shelf brackets and I made them as thin as possible because I, I didn't really like the idea of having really big things underneath that shelf. So I really hope this will be strong enough, this will work. Um, so I just got two pieces of pine and I stained it in the same color as the shelf. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the cabinet into this area so that we can see how high the shelf needs to be. Then I'm going to put the shelf brackets in and then I will assemble the shelf because we still have to put the gallery rail onto the shelf and then we can put everything together. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights after the spray paint had dried, I got all my pieces for the rails and I drilled holes into the bottom of the chest pieces with a small drill. I then put a piece of matchstick inside and then drilled holes into the shelf where I wanted the spindles to go. This way I could attach the spindles without having to screw them in through the bottom of the shelf. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down <laughs> What happened to your ear? What do you want? Oh, you want a cookie? Mm -hmm. 
I never actually make coffee. Stephen is the one who has mastered the art of coffee making in this house with his fancy espresso machine. So I hope he will like the new home I made for it. Oh, and these baseboards have been loose since we moved in. I thought this was a good moment to fix that. So I think I know why they attached that cabinet to the wall, because apparently this floor right in the corner slopes down. So everything you put here is incredibly wobbly. So I'm going to get a scrap piece of wood and attach it to the cabinet in the back and then attach that to the wall so that it is secure but still a little bit off of the wall so that I can run all my electrical cords behind it. And then we can move the coffee machine here and make everything look good. Wish that I could be Tell you how I'm feeling. Come along, let's take this walk together. We're together. Tell me I'm not dreaming. Wait for me, just take a look around you. Can't you see? I'm happy that I found you. Through the rain, through the storm, and through the fire. I hope this little project showed you how easy it is to build your own coffee bar in case you ever want one. I hope I've inspired you in some way. Leave me a comment if you like this video. I guess you could like the video, but I really like to read and respond to your comments. So leave me a comment. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week. And now I'm going to make myself a cup of tea because I have no idea how this thing works. So.